Amon Giles Carter Sr. was the creator and publisher of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, and a nationally known civic booster for Fort Worth, Texas. A legacy in his will was used to create Fort Worth's Amon Carter Museum, which was founded by his daughter, Ruth Carter Stevenson, in January 1961. Carter was born in Crafton, Texas. After his mother died in 1892, he moved away from his remaining family, to Bowie, Texas, where he supported himself with a variety of odd jobs. At those jobs, he learned salesmanship, and became a traveling salesman as a young man. Bowie residents have recalled that he was one of the original chicken and bread boys who sold sandwiches represented as chicken to passengers at the rail station during the Depression. The sandwiches, it was thought, were really made of rabbits that the boys had hunted. To this day Bowie has an annual chicken and bread festival each October. In May 1905, Carter accepted a job as an advertising space salesman in Fort Worth. A few months later, he agreed to help finance and run a new newspaper in town. The Fort Worth Star printed its first newspaper on February 1, 1906, with Carter as the advertising manager. The Star lost money, and was in danger of going bankrupt when Carter had an audacious idea, raise additional money and purchase his newspaper's main competition, the Fort Worth Telegram. In November 1908, the Star purchased the Telegram for $100,000, and the two newspapers combined on January 1, 1909, into the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. From 1923 until after World War II, the Star-Telegram had the largest circulation of any newspaper in the South, serving not just Fort Worth but also West Texas, New Mexico, and Western Oklahoma. The newspaper created VAP, the oldest radio station in Fort Worth, in 1922, and followed it with Texas' first television station, VAP TV, in 1948. This Cadillac owned by Amon G. Carter, Sr., is displayed at the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame in Fort Worth, Texas. Carter parlayed this money and power into celebrity as a national spokesman for Fort Worth and West Texas. During the 1920s and 1930s, Carter personified the image of the Texas cowboy in the national mind, an uninhibited storyteller, gambler, and drinker, generous with his money and quick to draw his six shooters. Major magazines such as Time and the Saturday Evening Post ran profiles of Carter, and he counted Will Rogers and Walter Winchell among his friends. The well-publicized hospitality of his Shady Oak Farm near Lake Worth was open to any major celebrity or businessman passing through Fort Worth. Carter used his national stage to drum up business and government spending for his home region. From the Texas State Legislature, he got a four-year college for Lubbock, where he was first chairman of the Board of Directors. He persuaded Southern Air Transport to move its headquarters from Dallas to nearby Fort Worth. Several oil companies moved or kept their headquarters in Fort Worth after personal interventions by Carter. In addition Carter was influential in obtaining for Fort Worth the construction of Air Force Plant 4 and the relocation of Bell Aircraft. Carter's disdain for Dallas, Fort Worth's much larger and much richer neighbor, was legendary in Texas. One of the best-known stories about Carter is that he would take a sack lunch whenever he traveled to Dallas so he wouldn't have to spend any money there. He was also quoted as saying Fort Worth is where the West begins, and Dallas is where the East peters out. The Star Telegram television station, BAP TV, avoided mentions of Dallas or of even being part of a merged Dallas-Fort Worth television market on his orders until NBC pressured his heirs to do so several years after Carter's death. After World War II, Carter stopped barnstorming on behalf of Fort Worth. In 1953, he suffered the first of several heart attacks, the final one, two years later, was fatal. On June 23, 1955, he died in Fort Worth, Texas. He was buried in Greenwood Memorial Cemetery in Fort Worth. The main entry to Texas Tech University, Amon G. Carter Plaza. Thanks for watching.